Why is this down yet? 10k more impact. Unlucky. Don't worry, GP. Nice. I didn't see Camille do that. I don't know. It's nice to bark back at him a little bit. Every move you made, I was watching you. Ugh. Camille matchup. They have Nunu Camille. How can live? If I die, I die. Do I go fleet? I'll go fleet. I'll stick with this room pitch. I think it's consistent here. All right, this is gonna be a pretty hard draft because I have to sideline against two champions that can dash on top of me repeatedly, which is tricky. And Nunu Camille, there's like no escaping. There's no escaping this at all. This matchup is playable for Camille before the first reset. After the first reset, it becomes super unplayable for Camille because machine will perma will basically not allow her to sustain anymore. But before Sheen, I don't have enough damage. In the early game, Camille can actually out sustain me or fight back because my poke is not significant enough to kind of push her away, right? She has D shoots, she's gonna have passive, she has grasp, she has biscuit, so she has a lot of forms of sustain, right? And after Sheen though, my Q poke is gonna be a lot more noticeable. The general concept of she uh, of gangplank in general is to play your lane in a way where you play trade avoidant, yes. You want to avoid trades in a general sense, simply because your champion is so weak in the early game. Like here, I took an equal health trade with the Camille, but still doesn't really benefit me. She has more sustain, right? So I shouldn't. She's gonna hit her level 2 first, and that is that. I shouldn't trade more than this. And that is because right now the wave is pushing into me, but afterwards the wave is going to push back into the Camille. And if I ever want to be able to play out the bounce, I gotta make sure that I'm at least close to full HP. I've landed 3 barrels already though. She could have E or W, I'm not sure. We're gonna see if she has W. One more melee, she's gonna have both though. Okay, she did select E. That's what I was scared of. I'm gonna Q the me and over her. And now we're full HP. She's gonna do a third wave crash, but that's completely fine because I am still full HP. Because I play trade avoided. And that is going to allow me to play the bounce here. That's also going to be the next topic on the course, by the way. How to play a weak early game top lane champion. Or how to play as a weak early game top lane champion. I'm fine with this next wave walking into my turret. It's gonna make the bounce easier because all my means will be staying alive as hers walk into the turret range. There we go. We're gonna hit level four. She is still level three, and that should make us strong enough to play at the bounce here. I don't care about the Camille, I just care about getting this wave in because else I'm scared of a potential Nunu gank. I don't have enough for Sheen though. I've lost too many last hits. I need 100 extra gold. It's pretty tricky here. I don't want to reset without Sheen, but I probably should have because this would have been a reset timer where I don't have to use my TP and I could have gone Cole and the item into Sheen. I should have recalled, guys. I've made a massive blunder by not recalling here. Okay, that's alright. Wave's gonna push into me. And now I do have Sheen, but I'm not a big fan of what I did. I'm gonna lose a lot of EXP here. And, uh... Oh. If she cancelled me, it would have been a death sentence, by the way. It's really good that she looked to cancel me. Now I can even freeze this wave. Oh, it's such a good result now. My passive goes through her shield. Oh, I'm lucky here too, though. But that Camille is tilted. That Camille is tilted. If, if she cancelled my reset, all of this wouldn't have happened. She would have had enough time to crash the wave because she would have cancelled my base. I'm so lucky there. I mean, I can maybe fight here, but the skirmishes are not the best for me. But my Nocturne has more items than a Nunu. And the wave is pushing into me. I mean, actually, she's dead. 69, baby. This wave is pushing into me before this fight happened. The game's absolutely over for the Camille now. And all I gotta think about right now, chat, is how do I set up my next reset? Uh, it's a matter of slow push into hard push. I'm full HP, so that should not be a challenge. Do I ult this wave? Passive income. Passive income. If I get the cannon, I'm happy. Make sure I get the cannon, though. I hope I would need my ult to set up my reset. That's all. It's definitely a greedy ultimate. I do help my bot lane a lot with that ultimate though, because it fixes their wave state. This guy is just tilted now, by the way. I'm gonna get my passive again. I'm gonna Glock him in the face! Alright. This Camille just lost the game when she couldn't cancel my one reset. And now I have Essence Zero at minute six, and the game is over. Your barrels are slowest level 1 to level 6. At level 7, your barrel becomes faster, or they come back to cooldown faster. Look, I can E, and I basically auto queue like that pretty fast. At level 13, they full upgrade to max rank. You can basically place it in an insta auto queue. My jungler is ganking bot, and I do not see Nunu respond. So, like, by el like process of elimination, it's very likely that Nunu is here, right? And as a result, okay, Nunu's bot. Now I'm allowed to contest this bounce. And had I not seen Nunu, 
knew I would never contest this bounce. Ooh. I didn't get the cannon, so I'm happy. My passive goes through her shield because it's true damage. You can't beat me, buddy. I'm sorry. And the thing is with gameplay, guys, remember, you're the highest gold champion in the game. If you are snowballing like I am this game, like, I'm gonna have three items by the time she maybe even has one. I'm gonna stay in lane. I'll eventually get my reset with TP. I'm very confident that I won't die here. Fleet will give me permanent sustain as well. Wait, I lost the plate now? No, I'm mad. 404 crit in her face. I got fleet for sustain every time. Close. Crit. Don't even need it. Game over. Gangplay a champion that should not snowball. If you snowball, it's like th there's no stopping you. The only way this Camille gets back in the game is me by me making mistakes. Camille doesn't have enough wave clear here. So I'm going to be taking these golems. They give me such an insane amount of gold. And plus 42 extra gold. At this point in the game, guys, I never have to kill this Camille in order to win this game. There's so many ways to expand your League of League of Legends. Getting kills is only 300 gold, right? But if I just farm ways, farm plates, and never die, Camille can never get back in the game. It's just absolutely game over. What do you need help for, bro? Like, you're good, buddy. Oh, this is Jenna pinging. Of course it's Jenna. Man, come. Support mains. I just want to understand. Kill her. Okay, my bad. There we go, we solved it. I gotta make sure I get enough means here with my Q so I can get my ultimate upgrade. There we go. Beautiful. Like I said, I'll probably have three items before she gets her first. Uh, no, GP doesn't get stacks from the mini grubs. You do get stacks from Goose, but not from mini grubs. Kassadin's coming. I'm dead. I gotta dodge his ult somehow. No, I can't. He waited with it. I can't dodge that. Okay, then I'll just do it like that. Like, get the f get off my screen, bitch. Why work hard if you can work smart? Like that. That's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Okay, I need to not die like that anymore. I'm gonna give away my lead like that completely. And I'm gonna farm drone camps. Uh oh. Well, you guys distracted me. This is legit all of your guys' fault. I'm scared. Okay, they're here. She has a 200 shutdown, but she still only has one item. We're fine. Camille struggles. She's really good at killing people, but she's really bad at farming. That was a nice one. That's another crit. Low death win game, but I think I just died four times in a row on Alright guys, I'm gonna look in, okay? Let's get level 13 and focus. We are still in a... Alright, game's over. I mean, no, 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 we, we win. I'm not even sure if we're gonna win, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, when you perma die for sure. I mean, he's not wrong. I say I think, because I'm not sure, actually. Well, this is a prime example of what happens when you just play with low discipline, guys. I don't know why we're fighting here already, though. How did says down yet 10k more impact? Unlucky. I shouldn't flip this 1v1. Oh, I need one more thing for my ult. This guy's running out of mana though, no? That was a fast one. Not this time. Piggy? Don't worry, GP. What did he even write? Oh wait, I can actually play for this. Now everybody in enemy team is in thing. Now, now randomly we're running. This is legit how Emerald play games go though, I don't know. And randomly we're like uh, winning the game again. And randomly we won the game. Solid. I'm with 3k gold. Like him saying that Camilla has more impact when 100 CS down. I don't think that's an issue that, that I'm responsible of. I think it's just my teammates that are running it and giving Camille the chance. Like she's not farming. She's just perma running somewhere. She's getting kills. 
But instead of my like teammates comprehension be like, we're dying here for nothing. It's like top gap. That's probably why jungle is the most hated role in the game in general. It's because people will always blame the jungler instead of looking at themselves at any given opportunity. Oh, she's gonna kill the turret. Oopsie. I didn't see the turret was that low HP. Epic. Now they won't say anything though. I missed. She's gonna jump on me. Oh. What even I guess. Alright, I mean I'm so strong. Another flesh though. But my entire team dies. Top gap indeed. Castle is there. I want her to jump me. I knew she would. I have I'm tanky enough because of my shield. Nobody else is here for my team, I guess. <laughs> this game's hard. I don't know why we're fighting even for. Hello, guys. I'm Aloy. Today we are gonna that do was clean. The top, top impact, baby. Nice. I didn't see Camille do that, Mr. Nocturne. It's always better for me right now to auto the barrel and then cue the target. I don't know. It's nice to bark back at him a little bit. Okay, we should back off. We should back off or we're dead. Cassidy could maybe TP flank us. Well, goodbye. I died trying to save this piggy. Do still take one guy with me. Not worth it though. Not worth it at all. What do you think about this song? <laughs> Wait, I just soloed this actually. Quick little 5k true damage on Nash. Let's go. No biggie. Come on, get him, Cannon. Let's go. Oh, one more. Let's go, big boy. I'm not escaping the gulag. Wait. Might need to get Garden Angel actually. I'll get Garden Angel. Never had the song not carry me. Never had the song not carry me. Chi chi. Chi chi. Chi chi. GG! GG! I'm gonna keep it here for the stream right now. Thank you all! Yeah.